Hey, what's up, Star Wars fans and collectors? Welcome back to a brand new action figure review. For this next Movie Heroes figure review, we'll be on figure number 16, and it is Qui-Gon's Apprentice, Obi-Wan Kenobi. A very interesting figure, just like his master that I previously reviewed. If you guys haven't seen that review, check it out. Um, definitely an interesting figure. Uh, let's go over the packaging. You have the new 2012 design packaging with Darth Maul on the left hand side and the new Star Wars logo. The bubble here on the right hand side you have an interesting image of Obi-Wan. And it has a little try me gimmick right here. You would just push the button and the lightsaber would light up. Obi-Wan's name right here. Hasbro logo, Movie Heroes logo and warning information. Over here you have information of the kind of batteries you need for the light up lightsaber to work. So that's basically it for the front of the packaging. On the back you have the Movies Here logo right up here. Uh, an image of the action figure. Obi-Wan's still an image from the movie. A little information about him. Over here you have uh, the other action figures from Wave 2. A little information about the Galactic Battle Game. And that basically is it for the packaging. Very cool. Obi-Wan includes a little Galactic Battle Game, how to utilize the cards and all that stuff. Um, A little paper of how to uh, do the lightsaber light up gimmick. Very informative. Obi Wan's Galactic Battle Game card with a nice image of Obi Wan right there. A stand and a die. I'm tired of all that, seriously. The stands, I don't mind the die, it's just whatever. And here is Obi-Wan, an interesting figure, no doubt, uh, very cool. Let's go over articulation before anything else. He has a ball jointed neck, swivel shoulders, ball hinged elbow, swivel wrist, no articulation on his right arm except for, like I said, swivel shoulders, no articulation on the wrist. Swivel hip, uh, yeah, swivel hips, ball hinge knees, and no articulation on the ankles. Um, just like I explained in my last review of Qui Gon, that these two figures are lacking a lot of articulation. I would assume mainly because of all the little wiring and stuff like that that Hasbro needed to put in in order to make the lightsaber work and light up. And I'm pretty sure it's also a lot more expensive for Hasbro to add articulation plus a light up effects so you know you really have to kind of think strongly is it worth your money to spend on these two action figures or not uh... like i said the interesting thing about this figure is the light up effect so you just push the button here in the middle and it'll light up really nice and bright this blue lights up a heck of a lot nicer than the green lightsaber of Qui-Gon's. So let me show you guys a comparison. Okay, here's Qui-Gon. As you can see, even on camera, it doesn't light up as good. And Obi-Wan's is super bright. But overall, they're both really nice. Um, let me give you a quick zoom in so you guys can check out the character, the character's head sculpt. Now it's... Still not on spot on to Ewan McGregor, but it's a little bit closer than any of the current Obi-Wans from the Phantom Menace wave released right now. Um, let me give you a small comparison to the Vintage Collection slash Movie Heroes line. Now, of course, this is a repack of the figure. Although this one did look really nice as well, this one's a tad bit closer to Ewan. The hair is a lot better designed, the face as well. The 
body's completely different. This one's a lot skinnier than this one, but again, this one's a bit bulkier just because of everything that it needs inside in order to make the lightsaber light up. Okay. I think the uh, Jedi Apprentice braid is really nice too. It's not so skinny, it's just a good perfect amount. The belt's detailed. The back of his hair is really nice. So detail on this Obi-Wan isn't that bad. It's not the best either. But certainly it's not that bad either. Um, you know, again, uh, what makes these figures unique is the whole light-up effects. The fact that they're the first action figures to have a light-up feature on their lightsabers is really cool. And I thought it was worth having in my collection after I really had a good look at them in stores. So, you know... From 1 to 5, I also give this a 3.5 out of 5. I can't rate it from 1 to 10. I, I couldn't decide, so... Definitely really cool. It's nice to have both Master and Apprentice together. It'll be nice to have them displayed. Hopefully they make a Darth Maul with a double-bladed lightsaber light-up effects. That would be sweet. Really, really nice. So this is mainly my collection on Obi-Wan. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Uh, please comment below and share your thoughts about this figure. Um, again, it's not the best, but it's certainly not the worst. And, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys... I'd probably recommend them definitely in your collection. I'm happy that I have them in my collection. And, you know, make sure to subscribe so you guys can stay tuned to more reviews that I'll be doing in the near future uh, follow me on Facebook and stick around because I will be reviewing a couple more action figures from this wave so until next time keep collecting and may the force be with you bye